You're going mad. Where is he? <laughs> Why aren't you laughing? All it takes is one bad day. Hi, this is Mark Morrell from Toon Barn, and we're here at San Diego Comic-Con 2016, and we're talking about Batman the Killing Joke, and I'm here with Batman himself, Kevin Conroy. How are you? Good to be here. Thank you. Batman laughing. How many times have you actually been asked to do that in any of the things you've done when you were Batman? Never. Never. That's a whole new thing. That was a new color in this, and, and a lot of it. It's, it's a big... Well, I don't want to give anything away. I don't want to give anything away. But... but. It, there, there's other colors to Batman in this than you've seen before. Yeah, so I mean, like, you're actually asked to do something you've never done before as the character. That's got to be something you've got you to gotta start thinking about that and say, how would I do that? Well, I think I know the character really well at this point, that I can sort of spontaneously trust my instincts. Um, you're right, laughter is not something that comes easily to Batman. It's not a, an instinct he has. But in this situation, it's so appropriate. It's, it's so organic out of the story that uh, it was fun to do. All right, so uh, at the time that uh, Batman was visiting Barbara Gordon in the hospital, how enraged was he about what had happened to her? Well, how, how, how enraged can you get? I mean, he is, he is beyond enraged. I mean, he wants to destroy whoever did this to her, you know, it's, oh, it's, it's a brutal story. That's why it's R-rated. I mean, it's brutal. And he has to hold himself back when Commissioner Gordon tells him to do it by the yeah. book. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, thank you for joining us sure. on Sure, okay. Thanks a lot. Good talking to you. Thank you. The stories are actually recorded first. We're the first step in the process. So it's like a, a radio play. And there's a real interaction between the actors in the booth. And over the years, you get to know each other, you trust each other, there's a lot of trust. Um, these are very giving actors, they're generous actors, especially Mark. Mark loves the actors around him to be better because he knows it feeds him. So he's very generous. And we have a real, um, a, a very brotherly kind of relationship as, as actors. And it, it makes us both act better, to, to, to feel more comfortable with each other. We've done that for so many years, that in this instance, because Mark's career has taken off again with Star Wars, he wasn't available for us for this recording. So even though he wasn't going to be there, um, that relationship has been established over 24 years. We all know what Mark will do. Although this time, he knocked it out of the ballpark. I mean, he went to places even, I think, most of us were, were surprised at it. You're not like I am, Barbara. It's still a game for you, still a thrill. Obviously, uh, it's, uh, it is a big deal to get the Batman the Animated Series cast back together again. I'm gonna ask you politely, one last time. Where is he? 23 years later, I'm still doing the role, which is pretty amazing. <laughs> Finish the commission, take him where he needs to be, and please, do be careful. After all, he is topping the bill. Every time I do this part, I let the script tell me what kind of Joker he needs to be. Mark loves the comic. He, you know, at times when he's been tired of playing the Joker, and you know, he, he said, oh, I'm not sure I'd ever want to play the Joker again. Unless they did the killing joke, then I'd come back to the killing joke. If people want to see a really nasty, vile Joker, this is the one. I'm crazy for it. I don't know where that voice comes from, deep inside Mark's head, but it's uncanny and it, it to an entire, entire generation of people, that's what the Joker sounds like.